What up, ladies and gents? How are we? We're here live in the studio of freaking Rolling Wrench. Oh, yeah. We got your Tilly in the house. She's, get, she's having her quinceanera, her quinceanera next year. She's gonna be 15. Here's the muskrat. What up, though? Tia in the house. Hello. Here's my Ravino that I have on the 232 ruckus. But if you notice, I have an aluminum pulley back there. So I wanna be, I wanna, I really wanna know what, cause this is aluminum pulley and then we're gonna test an NCY pulley. Let's see the difference. Cause we, the goal is we, you want it to be lighter. Okay. Oh, and by the way, little trick of the trade. You notice this, um, this pulley? on the belt, but if I move up, you see how flush it is to the end of the pulley? That's what you want. That's an 842-2030. All right, so there's the Ravino. Let's see if I can pull that in there like that. Okay. The little trick to not scratching this guy is put a rag over it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a spring under here. When I loosen this, this thing's gonna fling up. I gotta be careful. There is an easier way to do this, and that's actually on the ground where I'm gonna do it. Put your feet here, do the pigeon toe. Get her lined up, and Okay. And if, if you don't know about a Ravino clutch, let me explain the difference here. So the way that the, this, the standard clutch works, as, as this spins, centrifugal force kicks these pads out, outwards, like that. And as they kick out, see this bell? This is spinning as well, and it'll grab. And once it grabs, the pulley starts turning like that. That's the way a standard clutch works. Now a Ravino, if you, don't, if you know how a variator works, if you notice back in there, you'll see rollers. There's little rollers in a ramp. It's just like a variator. So as this spins, the rollers roll out and these rollers, instead of tuning with springs, spring pressure decides when these are gonna kick out. On these, it's weight, just like a variator, decides when these roll up the ramp and when they roll up the ramp, it squeezes these pads down and locks them in place. So this is how a motorcycle clutch works, and this has been adapted to a scooter, basically. So it's a really cool technology. All right, so does everybody understand how this works, all that? Oh, and one more thing. If you're doing a Ravino, very, very important to do the Ravino Contra Spring on a GY6. This is the 8% Contra Spring. This is the one that they recommend. We have Ravino clutches for the Minrelli, which is like the Zuma engine. We've got clutches for the, uh, the it's also the Minrelli engine and the um, Genuine Buddy. And then we've got Ravino clutches for all the Dios, Dio motors, the 2T uh, Honda motors. And we've got the Yamaha Zuma 50F, that's the four stroke model, and the C3. All of those we have Ravino clutches for. And we also have clutches for the Zuma 125 and the Honda PCX. Oh, and the ADV as well. I could show you guys uh, what a 232 clutch looks like. Um, after a year of hard riding, I could show you that. I was gonna do a video like that offline. But we could do that here tonight if you want. As long as you have a, a tuned CVT, properly tuned CVT, and you're not doing burnouts and being crazy, that clutch will last. Let me grab the uh, let me grab that so I can show you what a 232 clutch looks like after a year and a half of riding. Okay, this is it right here. I rebuilt the clutch because a Ravino had a special little. This is actually a newer clutch. Um, 
thing in there I can't talk about right now, but there is a reason why I rebuilt that. So this was the rebuild kit. After a year and a half, year, year and a half, I don't know exactly. I can go back and see when I installed it. Um, there's one plate in there, this one, that's brand new that I didn't use for a reason I can't discuss right now. It's got to be confidential. So here's a plate. There's a little bit of scoring, but keep in mind, this is the clutch that they gave to me for free to review. So I did abuse this. The clutch plates are really good. You don't see any glazing or anything like that. See these little grooves on the Ravino clutch? That's kind of like tire tread on a, uh, on a car or tires. You've got the tread. There's plenty of tread there. We're good. Again, l barely any scoring. Me hot rodding it. This clutch definitely didn't need to be replaced. And then there's another clutch plate. So that's what a clutch looks like after a year, year and a half of riding a 232 cc Honda Ruckus hot rodding it. My guess is around, I would say at least 3000 miles and it has plenty of life left. We got our scale here. Let's see what it, just a stock, your everyday standard GY6 clutch weighs. Clutch bell stock, um, slider, and then the clutch. So plop her on there. Let's write that down. Get that documented. Okay, we had our stock belt, or our stock clutch at 2,998 grams stock. Here is lightened, uh, that's a TFC lightened aluminum pulley super super fancy with the ravino clutch and the bell on it okay so let's zero this out okay and ladies and gentlemen what do we got 22 31 20 22 32 766 grams lighter like for reference let's see how much this heavy thing here weighs so basic that's 783 grams so basically it's like running your clutch without this heavy huge bell which is pretty damn heavy as you can see so this is uh ncy's version of the gy6 pulley okay so the question is we actually don't need to put the whole clutch on. All we got to do is know how much heavier this guy is compared to the other guy. There we go. That guy weighs 841 grams. That pulley does. And then this guy, I'd take this off so we have an equal weight. Make sure it's zeroed. Quite a bit less steel 218 gram difference oh yeah so you got your stock 298 grams Ravino with the TFC 766 grams lighter and Ravino with NCY 548 grams lighter so that is huge difference does anybody have any Ravino questions while I'm on this topic? Oh, that going back to the variators. So I don't know if you noticed the variator that was on there. Those are our prototype test variators. Remember I showed you how the belt was riding real high up there, doing a ton of testing and things like that. I can tell you right now that we're comparing the um, Ravino variator up against the NCY variator. It's gonna be a huge, huge upgrade, promise that. As far as the ETA on the Ravino clutches, it's probably honestly not gonna be until summer, or variators, I mean, not clutches, um, because I'm still doing a bunch of R&D. But if you guys haven't seen what the drive face looked like, so this, the variators that I have here, the, the prototypes, 
they're not like they don't look fancy it's just your everyday standard once we know it looks you know it functions the way it should then they'll make them look fancy and it's so so cool if you haven't seen how that looks already you really need to check that out go to ravino on um instagram do we have any zuma 125 riders in here that's the question so this is the uh ravino contra spring for the bws which is like the european and the uh canadian model um so and the zuma this is the the clutch for the yamaha zuma 125 pretty sweet and then you you would use that um it comes with a sticker of course and then these guys this guy right here goes up underneath the clutch like that so you would unbolt your original clutch off the pulley and then you would install this sucker and you've got to let's see that's a 12 percent spring and then that goes like that onto your pulley for your zuma 125 and there you go that's our zuma 125 ravino clutch and then to be honest with you the pcx clutch is the same clutch as the 2.0 gy6 clutch so that's cool does anybody own a ravino clutch in here and if you do tell me your experience on it yep it works on a, a pre-bug as well yes that will work which is super sweet basically i have clutches for anything that's in the u.s any scooter in the u.s uh other than like the the bigger scooters like the 250s and stuff like that yeah jeff pfeiffer he's got four of them freaking loves them see jeff you got them you got one for your uh get engine you got one for your c3 um one for your well a couple of them for your your i forget which ones but get and your c3 and your gy6 that's what it was for the t-max yes i can get one for the t-max that would be a special order you can get those though the ravino for the t-max I should tell you any of the Honda uh, variated transmissions will have clutches for those. The turbo build is going to be sweet when it's done, if it ever gets done. Jeez. If you, don't, you guys want to see the turbo? Here's the turbo right here. See that? Be careful. I'm going to dent my table up. Super good welds. But we have to do the EFI before we do the turbo because it won't run with a carburetor. Those welds though. Huh? Do you guys have anything else before I uh, put an egg in my shoe and beat it? Huh? I appreciate you guys. These, these lives are super fun. I've been on here for an hour and 45 minutes and I uh, appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, don't forget to uh, hit the little thumbs up button. The video that you just watched was filmed live. We do a lot of lives. Every Friday we'll, we'll do a live. Some of them are step-by-step -step how to's. Some of them are just chit-chatting, chit things like that. If you enjoy stuff like this and you want the raw feed, because once we go live, that raw feed will go into a private collection for my members only. If you want to become a member, I'll put a link down below. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video.